Yo sub guys, this is Happy Now with another Guild Wars 2 PvP video. And this time I'm gonna show you one more time the Power Revenant on uh I'm not so sure if it is a plat 3 game. Or better said if I my rating was plat 3. The enemy players with a Condi Cancer Thief, which I'm also gonna show. <laughs> I had this thief like um, as enemy on five games lately, and I beat it him on all five games. <laughs> He's playing Cancer Thief. And on this one as it looks like as well and yeah showing you the power revenant going on here with four facets and with the f2 so my allies have the longest boon duration and starting off together with my team here in a team fight we have also no we have no condi thief we have a normal thief and he's already attacking someone he's also getting attacked and um, i'm just trying to bait a little bit the revenant and as it looks like it worked pretty nice and I was also a little bit afraid of the thief and the thief is bad enough or better said stupid enough to really just stay here and get caught here on this one I get the interrupts onto the revenants here pretty perfectly we getting nice two kills at the beginning of the game we could have even let them bleed out but my team was a little bit too harsh here and we can move on and the best thing about the revenant is of course the mobility and that's what you should always just see on the revenant and um, i wanted to have a target but luckily i get zero targets on this game as i remember it correctly um i go with my sword three to not get knocked back by the um tempest weep or wh what is it it is the holosmith i thought yeah the holosmith i really thought that the weaver just used it but he was there um, to not get knocked back I used my staff 5 and stuff like that and here you can see a little bit when what you have to do kite around walk uh, backwards in front of you again joining here a little bit to deal some damage waiting a little bit here cleansing and this guy survived it somehow if I remember it correctly <laughs> this game was really rough um, he played pretty nice Tempest or actually I just maybe failed I don't know Either he was really good or I failed, something like this. Um, he survived pretty good here and what I wanted is normally to get a kill on him but it took me a little bit too long. And here you go, you see the power of the Cancer Thief. He, catch, he catches me with a steal and with his burst that applies like uh, four or five stacks of bleeding. No, not bleeding, poison, bleeding and torment and that's so annoying. And look at this now I, I was also a little bit confused about my team because they were all splitting off and they were getting decapped on mid which was really huge here um i wanted to have the guardian because he was playing corn that he watches close you know that he just keeps an eye out on it and the rest of us we just gonna damage the enemy players i had to watch here a little bit because of the light aura but luckily he gets another one and he just can perma interrupt us there the thief attacking here a little bit was also not so great but I don't know if we managed to get this kill. I guess he survives this as well because my thief just leaves here and I, I don't know what I was doing I was just walking there a little bit. Um, it is just look for one hit and then I just decided to leave it because I saw the guardian has the full cap and this tempest he will be not a damage dealer if he survives that long. I wanted also to do the beast but still it is always a little bit tricky. And when you have a Condi Thief on the enemy team, just try and get the kill first and then go for any beasts and stuff like that. I reveal him, auto attack him, trying to chase him there with my other ability and we might have got him here. He should have been even dead for sure, if I can remember it correctly. I can use my elite skill here, interrupt this guy not. <laughs> um, he has, I don't know if I remember it correctly. He just dies here, yeah, this was a really fun scene here. He just dies like this, pretty bad. Um, I, see, uh, I don't know what the Tempest, he, the Tempest was trying to revive or something. He was also not able to. My Guardian going for the Beast there was also not so the best thing. And especially as I said earlier, Cancer Thief can just easily steal it from you with one steal. Because the Beast, if it attacks once with five stacks of Confusion, it's just gonna kill it herself, itself, herself himself better said uh, I don't know was I able to get a kill over this guy oh my god how I hate uh, this shock aura when they have it I was watching here a little bit if this guy plays with a signet but he was not playing 
and luckily enough for him I was not removing his um, stability he would have granted himself another stability as well again but still uh, he would have been knocked back before that would happen now the thief was chasing this guy so I decided also to maybe watch for him if we could secure a kill this guy would be also huge the cancer thief decapping the point while the garden is again there which was really something that I never would understand Somehow my damage was not connecting there, I should have gotten two unblockables, but still, waiting for him to jump down. And yeah, my port, sword 2 port works not so great as I wanted it. And from here on, I don't know, I tried to get a kill onto this guy. He might go for a stealth here onto this, but I don't know, the thief also might just go away. He, he goes away as it looks like. But I have to secure it, because those thieves, they can just easily easily stealth the downed ally up and if they even play with the trade line they will stealth twice and they will get extra damage here with the sword 3 dodging the fear and the sword 3 into into necromancers at the beginning of the fight is always good so you avoid getting feared and stuff like that and from here on it was an easy task to just chase him here we were two players i don't know if i got feared or the thief one of us got feared the thief yes <laughs> yeah i remember so much of this gameplay correctly here and from here on just auto attacking a little bit trying to dodge something uh, i had to use my elite skill so i'm not gonna get feared any more but this guy will just port back yeah, i knew it i decided to go for far just to decap it we had the thief but the thief was i don't know having the wrong priorities he should have decapped far a long time ago and then hunt down some other ones um yeah, so I had just to do it a little bit. The problem here is that my team was not communicating that much with targeting people. You see this, my thief running away from this. Well, and I have to chase this guy. It would be normally the thief's job to really get this guy down here. I stay on my staff so I have Condi Cleanse and I can dodge a little bit around. Watching here the thief if he goes for me. I decided here to go for the full cap because the necromancer and the tempest of our You've team just mind. died so that would be the best choice and i could easily 1v1 the condi thief the because he has over. nice burst but only if you do something if you attack and stuff and otherwise the revenant with his healing skill all the damage that i take from myself from dealing myself damage will just get back to me again and here dodge trying to a little bit cc him attacking blinding him so in case that he would get some damage swapping to my staff to remove some condies because i have condi cleanse sigil there interrupting him from using his elite skill dodging the fear again auto attacking here and i did how to say it like some nice outplay of the necromancer i i would have taken a little bit longer to get a kill on him because normally i wanted to show you the other build that i'm playing basically it's the same or you can play it, yeah, you can play it on the different revenant. You can play with mace and axe the uh, uh, on the second weapon set, which deals huge damage, but Your is pretty, pretty mind. risky. I have a game with it pre-recorded again. I got a nice reveal onto this guy, and so I just wait here that he thinks he's secure. I was so close to get him. My thief was playing with shadow port last I'm seeing. I would have been so close to get this guy if he would not got another stealth up there. But if I remember correctly, they will have um, only the healing skill and the other one. Healing skill and shadow refuge to stealth up. So far, I was not letting the Condi Thief doing that much work there on me. And from here on, I don't know, I just tried to be like somewhere everywhere because you see this, my Thief on far was not able to get the decap i'm trying here to do something but they have four people here so it is pretty 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 rough to get something going on and then i get the opportunity to see this what everyone should have seen and we get a nice kill here onto the revenant i try to knock back the enemy players blind a little bit and do damage blocking 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 trying to follow this guy and you can see it here the You'll good thing what the enemy condi thief did but he's a really salty player by the way and um, he decapped our points and that's pretty great but he should have been here in team fights he could have done much more work in team fights here i, I got i don't know if i got twice attacked from the stick shoes or not he dodges somehow i missed that still 
even if after he dodged. Use my healing skill, auto attacking a little bit, healing up, blocking. No, not blocking, but interrupting him. I don't know. Somehow I had this feeling that my attack's not connecting properly here onto this guy. I had to leave here because I had no healing skill left and he had still everything up. Uh, I don't know if I die here. I got help from my from my, 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 my Tempest, yes. This is actually the first time that I get healed, pretty nice. Um, I have I've I've not I've not seen so many people playing Tempest who understand that they have to heal their allies. He wants me to stay to him, but I want to go and get more kills. Don't be so interactive with me. Um, I see that we are not working out. We miss we lack on damage, better said. And the Guardian is also FK. They have also the Tempest, so our damage would not work so much. The Thief getting the first decap, I guess, of the game, which is also good. And I just decided to go for the beast because I can do it at least. While the Condi Thief is going for somewhere else. I use here Sword 3 to just get a little bit away. I use my healing skill so if it damages me I can just stay and auto attack here. We get a nice beast here. We have far and close. And even if he would now die on close we will be here holding on against those enemy players here. You can see this here, three people on us, so this means they have two more. And I get really badly caught. Yeah, 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 I remember this. I was so mad about this. <laughs> I got like perma CC'd here. And I don't know which one of the CC's, I guess the light five. Uh, no, light air five got me here pretty badly. And I wasn't able to get up and use my healing skill. I wanted the thief or this someone to revive me. I don't know which one I wrote down. I wanted someone to revive me because the uh, they were three players going on far. But never mind, we will want this enemy, game anyways and here I'm just crying a little bit. I was writing nine. <laughs> and I just made it. Top stat damage and top stat kills. Um, that's what I should always aim for. Ooh, I was even dropped out of plat three, nice. Kills and damage. This is like the main things that you should probably get. It is not really about top stats, but you know your role. You are the roamer. You have to get kills, secure kills, deal damage. That's your main role there. Um, how did the holo re revived himself? Who knows? Berserker amulet, rune of resistance. This remains the same. And what I'm figuring out is sigil of cleansing on both weapon sets for extra condi cleanse. Um, this means when I swap weapons and stances, I will have uh, Condi Clans. That means like a double Condi Clans, one more extra. And the build is Devastation with Revocation and Herald, the main one. This is like the pure damage build, but you can also swap around with it. This is a pre-recorded video, so I can show it to you right now, but I will also do a video with the other build as well. Unsuspecting Strikes gives you a 10% damage bonus if you are above 80%, which is pretty nice um, if you engage into the combat and want to get some nice damage going on at the beginning of the game. Uh, yeah, Exposed defense is your first attack when entering combat applies vulnerability. This ability is refreshed when you use an elite skill. This means a 5% stacks of vulnerability, 5% extra damage, which means at the beginning of the fight the 50% damage bonus. And you get another 10% damage bonus from this short trade line before, which means when you have double weapons, another 10% damage bonus, which means a 25% damage bonus when you engage into the combat. Ferocity for your allies, you'll increase damage to targets with a vulnerability. You get a half percentage of damage bonus, which means 10 stacks of vulnerability, an extra 5% damage bonus, and that just stacks up. 20% damage bonus against enemies uh, under 50% HP, Cleansing channel, that's what you get your Condi Cleanse when you swap your stances. Repeat flow every 5 seconds. He heal yourself and gain swiftness when you use a skill that has an energy cost, which means all your attacks gonna uh, spend your energy and you will get extra swiftness and some extra healing. It is not much, but it is like the best to use. Call of the Assassin. Song of the Mist is the trade line, by the way, sorry. Um, it is when you swap your stance, you will damage enemy players and either get quickness when you go to your assassin stance and apply vulnerability and to your dragon stance you will apply burning and chill and some damage onto the enemy players depending on when you swap rising momentum gain increased movement speed for each point of upkeep currently in use which means when you are on your dragon stance 
Herald stance, I don't know, I just say dragon, I don't know if it's dragon or not. You will have your um, facets which you can activate and you will have a 5% faster movement speed while you have them activated. That's pretty huge. Then shining aspects using a consume skill heals you. This is when you use your facets, you will get extra healing by that. Then a draconic echo, your facets passive effects additional targets and you retain them for a duration after using them. And this means when you activate your facets, you will still keep the boons up like Fury, Swiftness, uh, Might, re uh, Regeneration and Protection. And that's also pretty huge. And that was actually the build. It is basically the same. The build is for people who want to have high rated uh, top tier gameplay or how to say it, high profession, high skill cap, um, Revenant and you have high mobility high damage output and you are also in certain ways pretty squishy because you have only two stun breaks at all uh, yeah that was it if you have any questions feel free to ask me under this video or in game and of course you can watch now three of my other videos which you can watch or not and of course you can subscribe to my youtube channel only if you like to if not don't do it that was happy no with some power revenant gameplay on and yeah that was basically it i stole the beast i got top stack kills no, I don't steal the beast. I got a beast, top stat kills, top stat damage. And I haven't died so much. <laughs> like two times, I guess. Um, but even that was too much. Thanks all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And I see you in my next videos. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye to all of you.